Hello, and welcome to Gross Gaming. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, today I am going to be talking about the Amazon Fire TV, the second generation. The second generation has an SD slot. So, in my mind, I thought that I could run these emulators and then run all my ROMs that I have with no problem. Well, guess what? There's no freaking information online on how to do this. All I want to do is use the SD card. I don't want to be using Dropbox. I don't want to use Kodi. Not for this, anyway. I use Kodi. It's awesome, but not for this. Um, I just wanted to be able to use the actual Android operating system that's on the Fire TV to do what I want to do. So I figured it out. So I thought I'd share my little knowledge here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is an SD card, clearly. Uh, the problem is, with most SD cards when you first get them, they are, the file system is NTFS, which is not compatible with the Fire TV. Well, I don't know, Windows 10 is goofy. Sometimes it allows you to format with FAT32, which is what you need. Sometimes it doesn't. So this is what I've determined to do. So, I'm going to take out my SD card and simply put it into the Fire TV. Now the Fire TV says, oh hey, it's loaded, but it doesn't work, it's not compatible. So I'm going to format it. Yes, please format it. And also, a good thing about doing this is there are files that Android uses that this will automatically put on there for you. So I'm going to let that go away and take this out of the Fire TV now. And of course, I do it wrong, so it's unexpected. Whatever. So then I'm going to put this right back into my computer. But guess what? <gasps> oh no, there's a problem with the drive. Yeah, okay, big deal. So I just click on that to open it, and I continue without scanning. It's not a problem. So this is what it's added to my card, but I don't care about any of that stuff. I'm just going to leave it sit right there and not worry about it. So what I'm going to do is minimize this. Oh no, I guess now I need that. So first off, you're going to need a ROM or an emulator. Okay, so you need to decide what you want. Uh, I want them all, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to go with the NES. So what you need to do is you just need to download the APK files. APK is an Android package uh, that you can legitimately just download any kind of Android package you would like, any games or whatever, and this method will work. Um, so you come down, you want to download. I hate all these pages, there's 4 million downloads, but this is the one that you want, the green one. Then you have to do a CAPTCHA. So 5, 6, uh, 8, C, capital C, capital B. Uh, I found that capitals do matter, and then you just click on Start Download, and it will download. So that's in my downloads folder, but I've already moved everything where I need it. Well, I thought I had it right here on the desktop. Oh, there it is. ROM demo. Okay, thank you. So what I do then is I take that download that I just had, and I put it in a folder called NES. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that folder right on over to that SD card. Okay, and then also any ROMs that you want to add you need to put over there too. I just had a couple of them that I wanted to try out so I'm gonna put them over here too. Now I haven't tested these so we'll find out what happens. I am that confident that this is going to work. Okay so now I got everything copied over now I can go back to my Fire TV. So I'm gonna eject the card and I'm gonna go ahead and put this right into my Fire TV. So now it's gonna register, it's gonna mount it, it's gonna do all kinds of fun stuff to it. Problem is, you can't really access it. So this is what you got to do. Okay, so on your Fire TV, you're going to go to search. Okay, and what you want to search for is called uh, Total Commander, I believe. Okay, I sound real confident, I know. So let's see what happens. Total Commander. Okay, so I'm going to move right on over into the, oops, yeah, the apps and games. And that's exactly what I want. So I want to click on this so I can download this. So this is downloading, installing. It's pretty fast. There's no problem. Okay, now it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. 
So now I've got all kinds of fun little options. Okay, so SD card 2 is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to back out of this. Blah, 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 sorry. I'm going to go right back to my home. I realize I could have just hit the home button, but what's the fun in that? To show you that it's actually going to be in your apps, if you accidentally hit done or whatever, it's going to be in your apps. So it's right here. So you can still open it up and get to it, no problem. It, it doesn't take a genius. But you'd think that SD card is what you want. But no, it's not. Of course not. It's SD card 2. So there was clearly something built in. There's also a USB drive that's on this thing. So it's possible that you could do this from a USB. I haven't tested it, so I'm not even sure. So SD card 2. I saved the emulator underneath NES. So here it is. You have to click install twice. So I'm going to scroll down and install again. And it's going to install. Oh my god, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. Click on my home button. Take me home. Come down to, oops, apps. Oh, hey, look, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now, here's like helpful hint number one. Is this only number one? Helpful hint number 4016. One of the first things that you need to do is scroll down to this input uh, set up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Amazon Fire Controller. Set gamepad keys. If you don't do this, you'll get into a game. You won't be able to exit. You won't be able to do all kinds of stuff. It's just really aggravating. So you must set this up first. So, and it's also, you need to set up, like, all the controls that you want. Because, believe it or not, like, up. So I'm going to hit the up button. Oh, hey, look at that. It it doesn't actually match up with the control. It's weird, I know. So I'm going to go right, down, left. By the way, I'm hitting the A button. I have a controller. This is the Amazon Fire controller. So uh, you can use an Xbox 360 controller, or you can use the actual remote control and set it up however you want to. Uh, it This should work with the Amazon remote. You just have to set your keys up. So now A and B, look at that, none. So, obviously, nothing was going to happen when I got into the game. So, there's my A. There's my B. And, oh, Turbo A. Hey, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. Okay, so, another thing that you really need to do is this select and start. So, um, let's see. Can I do the back button with select? I can. Sweet. Can I do my menu button? All right. So, that's what I'm going to do. That seems pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to hit the B button and go back. And then I'm going to set the in-game actions too. So I like to load and all this stuff. I really don't care. But to open my menu button, I'm going to set this as my L1 button. And then I would like an exit button. Exit is the L2 button. Or no, the R1 button. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now I'm going to go all the way back to load game. Okay. Here comes the money shot. So now, okay, so I'm in storage, and I'm in emulator at the top. I do not want to be like that. So I actually want to hit the back button to get back to this area here. Okay, this is the root. So now I'm going to scroll down, and you see where it says SD card? Believe it or not, that's not what you want. Do not go to SD card. You must go to storage, and then SD card 1. <laughs> yeah, helpful hint, 10,052. I don't know what number I'm at. I'm so lost. But Okay, so I put them under ROMs. So here's my ROMs. Let's try out Super Mario Brothers. Oh, b immediately starts up. Gotta love that. So I'm going to hit the start button. Oh, look at that. So nice. Just absolutely perfect. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. Let me crank the volume up. Oh, yeah. that's That's the Mario we know and love. So, all my buttons are working exactly like they're supposed to. <laughs> that little Goomba motherfucker kills more people than anybody else. So, anyway, I'm not here to show you how to play this stupid game. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to hit my menu button. That's my exit button. So, yeah, no, I don't actually want to exit. I want to load my ROMs. 
So I'm going to go back here because I just screwed that up. I'm going to hit my menu button, and now I'm on this page. And now I can load a game, and now I can go to the Turtles. Let's see what this one looks like. It immediately starts. This is so fast. This is so much better than anything else out there. I love this. So I'm going to play the Turtles. This is the old school arcade version. I love this game. I owned every Turtles game. And I got to go with my boy. I got to be Donatello. Sorry, guys. It's Donatello's the man. I mean... He's a tech genius, so of course I like him. So yeah, it works. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and go back home. But yeah, that's literally all there is to this. It is not difficult. It takes minutes. I mean, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I bet it's going to be under 10 minutes long. So, all right, guys, have fun. Oh, uh, yeah, a place to get your ROMs. You can do any torrent site. Um... As long as you're not selling them, I don't think you're going to have an issue. But don't sell anything that you ever download. That is very illegal. Um, all the games that I download, I already own. I own, like, everything. But using the emulators with the Fire TV, it's going to be so much faster, so much easier. It's just you know, one machine does it all. I love it. I can't talk enough about the Fire TV. It's just... And then using Kodi, that have like your own operating system inside of it. It's just... It's amazing. So, but that's a whole different video. There's thousands of them out there. It's easy to do. So, all right, guys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.